So the game I'm playing today is called Wandersong. This is an action-adventure game where you play as a bard whose name is unknown as far as I'm aware. I believe the game simply refers to him as the bard. I'm actually not too familiar with the game's plot. All I know is that basically the world is going to hell in a handbasket and you, the bard, have to save the world. Now this game came out not too long ago. It's only been out for a few months. It came out for both PC and Nintendo Switch, and it's been receiving some pretty good reviews at the moment. I initially heard about this game a short while after it was officially launched, and I thought the concept was pretty cool. The one thing that really intrigued me the most about this game is not just its Paper Mario-esque aesthetic, or at least it reminds me of Paper Mario personally, but also this game has a really unique combat mechanic. Instead of using weapons to defeat your enemies, you can sing. Yes, this is a game where you can literally kill enemies by singing. Some enemies will require you to hit very specific notes in order to defeat them, and that's pretty much all I know about this game at the moment. To tell you the truth, I did not play this game at all off-screen. This is one of these rare instances in which I'm actually doing a blind let's play today, which is something I pretty much never do anymore. There is a reason why I'm doing this, but it's not because I didn't want to spoil the story for myself ahead of time. The thing is, I spent the last 20 minutes or so trying to record another video. I was planning on doing a video on Wander Song for a while now, but this was not the video that you guys were supposed to get today originally, because what you were supposed to get on this day was Donut County. I was planning on recording a one-part full playthrough of Donut County, which, if it ended up going to plan, would have probably been like two hours long. Unfortunately, that recording never got anywhere because, for some reason, OBS Studio no longer captures Donut County correctly. Which is incredibly strange because it was working fine just like five days ago. I don't know if maybe Donut County received an update for something and it broke OBS functionality. I have no clue what even happened, but... I can't record Donut County anymore, and I spent the past 20 minutes trying to see if I could fix it, and I tried absolutely everything I could, and nothing worked, because of course nothing ever works in my favor. Not when I'm trying to record a video at least, but... Wander Song seems to work just fine, so I figured, you know what, screw it, I'll just record this tonight instead. And also, it's very late at night right now, and I didn't feel like recording another one of my more informative style LPs. I just wanted to go into this blind, and I wanted to, you know, get, get my initial reactions here. Honestly, I feel like this is one of those games where maybe it would be more appropriate if I went into it blind instead, kind of like Deltarune. So, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, you guys will be getting a one song video today instead. I don't know when the Donut County video will arrive, but uh, until I can get the game to freaking work, or if I can get, like, OBS to cooperate with me, then you guys will be getting that video sometime in the future. Or maybe you never will get that video. I have no idea. It's your call, OBS. Your call. Anyway, let's get started on this lovely adventure here. So, all I know is that you can jump with the up arrow key, and, uh, yeah, this is definitely another one of those games where height of your jump depends on how much pressure you- you put on the up arrow key. You can also crouch as well, it seems. Yeah, he kind of, like, crouches on his knees. I don't know why he's, like, holding his knees. I'm not really sure what the point of this could possibly be. So as you can see, the bard right here is basically paper thin. Whenever he moves around, he gets, like, flattened for a brief moment. So yeah, you use the left and right arrow keys to move. Also, if you repeatedly tap the left and right arrow keys, yeah, you can just do this. As you can see, the bard is made out of paper. <laughs> Effectively, that's what he's made out of. So you can also left-click to bring up this color wheel that kind of reminds me of the color wheel from Hue. I know that this color wheel will allow you to sing. I don't think singing has any use at the moment, but just to show this off, you have this little cursor right here. If you move the cursor to a certain color, you should be able to sing, right? Yes, indeed. You definitely can. So that's one of the unique mechanics in this game, and you can use this in order to defeat enemies, and you can have it open while you're still moving. So you can actually sing while you're moving. 
that works too. So when you hover your cursor over different colors, it will change the note, or basically change the pitch of the bard's voice. Oh wait, okay, I just discovered something. So if you right-click, you can actually make the bard sing a lot softer. Okay, so he uses like a much softer singing voice when you right-click, that's interesting. And if you prefer, you can just go absolutely buck wild with it and just go into a full-blown cacophony if that's your kind of thing. Anyway, we're gonna move forward now. We're actually gonna begin the adventure proper right here. Okay, just jump over this. I, I do believe this is a platformer. It does have platforming elements. Yeah, we do have a sword. So I will admit, I do actually know... Okay, that's that's good physics. I'm just standing on this. Now, admittedly, I do know what happens at the very start of the game. I did actually know that you get a sword at the start, but I know that you don't keep the sword. You can't actually use the sword for anything, and you will lose it later on, but we're gonna pick it up for now. There we go. We got a sword, we got a weapon that we can fight with, and the bard can barely even hold the sword. Yeah, the music is kicking in now, so we can aim the sword with the color wheel but this is not gonna have any use whatsoever. Here, just- just hold it in front of you. Actually, maybe- maybe we can do this. We can just, like, go into- into this stance. You know, go for- go for the ultimate slash. So then we have the first monster right here. Alright, we're gonna go into a battle then. We're gonna go into a battle. I think, uh, this actually does nothing. Nope, it does. <laughs> yep, so already we've just lost the sword, so what do we have to do now? Well, we have to sing. We have to- we have to sing until- until the monster dies. We killed the monster with our singing. Just like that. Oh my gosh. You are so cute! I'm sorry for scaring you. This was supposed to test if you were a hero. Which you're not. Just a bard. Oh god, sticky keys got enabled because apparently I have to press the shift key to get through the- the- the text bubbles. Wait, can I- Okay, that's interesting. I can still... Yeah, I can- I can still sing even when the text bubbles are open. Okay, that's interesting, and they do kind of react to me doing that. I also like how the text bubble changes color too, but is there any way- can I press spacebar? Okay, yes I can. I can press the spacebar to scroll through the text bubbles. That's a lot better, because I don't want to get annoyed by sticky keys every five seconds. Who are you? Messenger of the goddess Aya. You have some nice rainbow colored hair there. Aya? Aya? I have no clue. <laughs> Forever ago, her song of creation set your universe into motion. And she's gonna sing her song again pretty soon. Which, um... Is gonna replace this universe with a new one. But don't freak out about it too much. Your universe is pretty old. She likes to start over fresh after a while, you know? Man... This sucks, actually. I really like you. Sorry your planet is doomed. <laughs> All right, the curtain closes. God, this is just like Paper Mario. Act one. The Haunting in Langtree. So I do know that this game takes place over multiple acts. I'm not sure how many acts there are in total, though. I do know that this game is supposed to be fairly long. I think it's at least, at least a few hours. It's not a short game. At least I heard that it's not a short game. So let's just sing. Let's just sing here. Okay, yeah, it does cause the flowers to change color. Interesting. I can use my bed as a trampoline, apparently. That doesn't seem useful in the slightest, but it's still an interesting thing. Yeah, and I can still sing on it, too. Okay, I, it seems like I have to, like, be near the flower in order to get it to change color. Oh, yeah, and they're all changing color, too. Can I get those drawings on the wall to change color, I wonder? No, it doesn't seem like I can. God, whenever I sing, my entire house just shakes. Even my house is getting down to my incredible singing. Okay, let's go outside then in that case. All right, well, we're outside now. Oh my god, yes, dude. This really does look a lot like Paper Mario. So we can go left or right. Okay, we can also go inside, uh, doors. Okay, we have to actually press the shift key for this, though. Let's go to the left here. Okay, never mind. We can't go to the left. We can't actually jump up there. <laughs> Fine, I'm just gonna sing some more. There we go. I'm gonna change all the colors. I'm gonna change- I'm gonna change the colors of literally everything here. Even the squirrels, apparently. Yeah, you, the squirrel's actually following me. Wait, who are you? Can I talk to you? Hey now, wanderer. How you doing? Can I- Okay, yeah, you're just kinda- you're just kinda bouncing along. Bouncing along while singing a song. What the heck is this bird doing anyway? Can this bird get away from me? How were your dreams last night? That's an odd question to ask. I don't remember. <laughs> they can be so easy to lose, can't they? Well, no worries. It's a beautiful morning. The birds are singing. What about you? Going to see the ghosts? Ghosts? 
A crowd of spirits took over town. Everyone's freaking out. It's pretty funny. Well, see you around. Okay, do you say anything- Whoa, hello? Oh, wait, does- Does the bird allow me to- To jump higher? It does allow me to jump higher. Okay, well actually that just gives me an idea. Wait, do you say anything else? With all these ghosts around, I'm really feeling the spook vibes. I think I might go hang out in the graveyard. If you come find me there, then something special is sure to happen. I don't know, man. You're wearing a mask and you told me about- about- You you ask me about my dreams. I, I- I wouldn't trust a person like you. I would not trust a guy like you. You don't- you don't seem trustworthy to me, but hang on a second. This gives me an idea, though. I feel like there's a secret over this way. I want to go to the left, okay? I want to diverge off the beaten path. There's a kitty. Can I interact with the kitty? I can. What do you say? Meow. That was a horrible meow. Can I sing? Okay, singing doesn't seem to do anything right now. You found a secret, but you're not the one I'm looking for. Come back when you've seen the end of the universe. Oh. Alright, well, I, I kind of figured there was a secret here. It looked like there was something over this way. But it says, come back when I've seen the end of the universe. So I guess I have to, like, beat the game first and then come back here? Okay, well, I mean, I'll I'll remember this area for later. I'll remember it for later, then. Alright, I'm actually kind of glad that I went down there. Doesn't seem like it's going to be useful for absolutely anything, especially not in this video, because this is not a one-part full playthrough. Donut County was meant to be. This is not going to be, because this is, like, I, I think five or six times longer than Donut County. The Cyan. We can interact with the Cyan. Oh god, wait, stop opening up the color wheel. Wait, can I even talk to the sign? Okay, I'm pressing the shift key, but it's not saying anything. Oh god, what is this? Okay, this is the the pause menu. Okay, that's cool and all. I didn't want to bring that up. Um, yeah, I can't read this sign. Fine then. I guess it's just a blank sign. Let's just go. Let's just keep on going then. Alright, so we need, we need another bird here. Uh, okay, there's a specific pattern that I have to sing in here. Yeah, there we go. Just jump up this way. Alright, so we can get, like, additional height with these birds, it seems. Uh, can you come over here? Okay, wait, do I have to go back this way? Here. Sing to the bird, and apparently that, that just hypnotizes the bird, and then I can use it to do my evil bidding. Who's this lady over here? How you doing? Can I go over this way? Oh yeah, I can jump between layers as well. Alright, jump into the background. Sigh. I'm just kinda... What, what am I doing? I'm just kinda leaning into her. Are you from around here? Yeah! Do you know the Overseer song? What? Useless! I swear to Aya, this whole town, a few ghosts and everyone's useless! I don't have time to talk to you. The world is ending! Huh? Miriam, huh? That sounds familiar. Is the world really ending? Tuh. Yes. But don't you worry, I'm taking care of it. Or I would. If anyone could tell me the freaking... Overseer song! What is an overseer song? I don't have time to talk to you about this. No. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why does it look like I'm just, I'm just like perpetually screaming at her? Okay, now I can't even talk to her at all now. Okay, so it seems like this is another one of these games where if you talk to the characters multiple times, they'll always have different things to say. So that may actually be important for something later, probably. Yeah, I can't read these signs. It's telling me shift. They, they don't say anything. They don't say shit. Okay, this bird. Can I wake you up? Yes, I definitely can. But is there a specific pattern that I need to sing in to get you to follow me? Or do I just need to sing in all, in all the patterns? I mean, you, you do have, like, rainbow spikes on you, so I was just thinking, maybe? Or what if I sing softly to it? No, that, that still wakes it up anyway. Okay, fine then. we will just go to the left. We'll go to the left and, uh, see what's over this way. Yeah, it's really interesting how I can, like, jump in between background layers. This is like Paper Mario, my goodness. God, I really do like this aesthetic, though. Because it, it really reminds me of, like, a like a picture book. It's very lovely, as is the music. I have no clue where I'm even going, though. There's birds that I can sing to, but they do absolutely nothing. They're, they're just lazy. They're just lazy. They just, they just want to sleep in the trees all day. Alright, let's go into the cave, then. If there's anything in the cave- Whoa, hello? Okay, I was a completely different color there for a moment. Okay, yeah, that, that shading there. The color shading. Uh, okay, well... This guy is here again, but can I talk to him? 
No, I cannot. So, there's one of two explanations here. He's either asleep or he's dead. Actually, we can't even continue onwards. So, oh god. Okay, let's... <laughs> Good. So I just discovered that you can apparently teabag people in this game. God, what, e what even is- See, he's like squatting down. It looks like I'm- I'm like popping a squat on him. This is- this is- this is not right. This is not appropriate. Stop doing that. What- what is even the point of this place? There's like nothing I can even do here. It's just a guy lying down on the ground, presumably dead. And it's the same masked individual that I saw before. Can I go- Okay, yeah, I can drop down onto the, uh, the background layers here. Like, when they're in front of me. So I guess the correct term is actually foreground layer, but whatever. Let's just keep on going here. I guess we need to go to the right. This is where the ghosts are anyway. Alright, so now we are here in the village, I presume. How, how are you doing, sir? Oh god, what's happening to the colors? What do you have to say? Oh my goodness! Golly gee! Me oh my! What's going on? In my home right here, there's a, a real-life bonafide ghost! What? I kind of want to see. Don't be a hero! The mayor already stormed into there a while ago, and she still hasn't come out. It's the end of Langtree as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel copyright. Okay, anyway, let's go in this house. Let's go in this house right here. I'm sorry, he said it's the end of Langdell as we know it. I couldn't resist. How are you doing? I guess this is the mayor? Oh god. Okay, this is a ghost. God dang ghost! Maybe singing will cheer it up. Well, singing causes it to change colors, so that's already interesting. Think you can mess with my town? Alright, well, we'll see here. We'll see, hello. Okay, a very specific pattern. Red, green, orange. Well, that's more like a lime green. Okay, yeah, that seems to have damaged it. Pattern? Okay, some, some diagonals. Green. That looks more like yellow, actually. That one on the right. Okay, yeah, we just- we just sing, and he- and he gets damaged by that. Okay, yeah, so we just have to, like, sing in a very specific pattern. It doesn't seem like you have to time it with the rhythm of the song, though. It seems like you just need to, uh, copy the pattern, and that's all. Speaking in a language that I do not recognize, those are just hieroglyphics, for all I'm concerned. Rainbow hieroglyphics. I didn't want to pause the game there, by the way. <laughs> well, LB, guess your singing actually did something for once. Yeah, you're a good kiddo. But we're still up to our necks and ghosts today, so stay out of trouble. Alright, well I guess that was the, the first mini-boss of the game, I presume. So, is that it? We already gotten rid of the ghosts? What does Clyde have to say? Stupendous! Fantastic! My home is safe again! When the mayor went in there, I have to admit, I was worried. But of course it was no problem for her. Oh, I'm sorry, but I- it, it's not like I was the one doing all the work. I mean, she was literally just standing there with a broom in hand. I- I was the one doing all the work, buddy. I'm the one who got rid of the ghost for ya. You. You're the one who should be thanking me. I was the one who put in the effort. Just why are these ghosts here? Have we angered a higher power? Being the only doctor in town is stressful enough. It's all too much. Too much, I say! Yeah, so it seems like it gets to a point where, eventually, you just can't speak to any of the townsfolk anymore. Not sure if I'm really a fan of that feature, honestly. Like, you speak to them a few times and then you can't speak to them anymore, period? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure if I like that or not. I mean, I would still like to be able to go back and talk to them at a later point, but maybe I can talk to them again when they have, like, new dialogue? I don't know, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Also, it does seem like I can fall faster when I jump and then hold the down arrow key. Yeah, I can fall a lot quicker. This is Clyde's house. Alright, let's just keep going over this way for now. Marley and Francine's house? Uh, sure, I'll enter and see what they have to say. Hello, little bird. I've been hiding here from all the ghosts. Wait, did she say bird or bard? I, I, I'm pretty sure that said bird. <laughs> if I wait long enough, mayhaps they'll go away. Oh, okay, like, this is like British aristocrat kind of kind of accent right here. Oh, okay, I, I see what's happening. What are you doing? Hiding, singing, or saving the town? Oh, so I have an option here. I am... What, what am I doing? I'm singing. Sing... Ing... 
Oh, okay. I have to... Okay, I have to... I have to activate it, like, multiple times in order for him to actually get, get him to say it. So that's interesting. So you can also use the singing to actually speak to the townsfolk as well. Like, you can use the color wheel in order to select different lines of dialogue. I can see that. Business as usual, then. That's just how I like it. Between the old mayor's passing and now this, it's such a crisis for her little Langtree. But don't you worry. You didn't grow up here like the rest of us, so you may not know, but we've been through worse. We always weathered a storm. Have you seen Francine? She's visiting Ruby just beyond town, ever since Ron passed. Everyone's been doing their part to help poor old Ruby. We are much, but we always stick together. That's what I love about Langtree. I really wish I had her here with me, though. Seeing you makes me feel a smidge better. Your useful attitude is so infectious. Come to think of it, how old are you? Oh, <laughs> Oh god, uh, Shrug, not that old? Still a kid? Um, uh, that's impolite. You know what? That is just ruid. I am offended. That's impolite. Well, still a child at heart, surely. Nothing wrong with that. You're like a songbird, bringing smiles wherever you go. Pleasure chatting with you, little bird. <laughs> yeah, she refers to me as a bird. She is British, my god. I can't talk to her anymore anyway, it seems. She has nothing more to say. Okay, more ghosts around around these parts, huh? Okay, well, let's talk to these people first. Who are you? That guy is wielding an axe. I... I'm scared. Okay, who's the guy wielding an axe? Aye, if it isn't the Bardling. Watch yourself today. The ghosts around town are proving quite a problem. I tried scaring off the one in our, ac in our house with my axe, but I wasn't very afraid of axes. Hopefully the mayor can sort it, Suin. No, I can sort it, Suin. Mayor can't do shit to these ghosts, but I have the magical power of singing. See, I'm gonna do this all on my own. Watch. What do you have to say? Okay, it's not it's not actually giving me the cues this time. Oh wait, I, I don't think I got that correct. Okay, no. I have to go in the diagonal one. Alright, next. Right, right, diagonal right. Okay. There we are. I mean, these ghosts seem to be pretty easy to defeat. They only take, like, like three hits here. I mean, it's still a very interesting combat mechanic right here. Kill him with singing. I still don't understand what that means. You're gone. There we go. Did it all by ourselves this time. Also, what is that thing on the ground right there? Is that, like, a chest? Yeah, that might actually be a chest. Can I bounce on these beds, too? Yes, I definitely can. Okay. I got rid of the ghost for you. You can thank me now. Oh, your name is Bronson. That's reminding me of uh, one of the characters from Mother 3. I can chop down trees, but ghosts are beyond me. Maybe it's as Mary used to tell me. Instead of only training my muscles, I should train my heart. Just kidding. Being strong is great. I miss her. Your jolly demeanor keeps my spirits up, at least. But experience hardens the soul. I hope tragedy doesn't befall you as it has us. I'm glad my boy is at least still with me. He's much tougher than me. I could learn a thing or two from him. Woody. Um... Hi. And that's all he says. Alright, well, Woody seems to be a pretty shy boy, so... Doesn't have anything more to say to me? No, he, he actually doesn't. He only has one thing to say to me. It's not even anything useful. Okay, well, here's the mayor. Her name is just Mayor. My folks here ain't... My folks here ain't safe till all the ghosts are calmed down. Sure, it'd be nice for someone to conveniently sing them all away. Yep, that'd be nice. Langtree needs a mayor they can trust in. After all that broom swinging, I gotta rest my arms. But then I'll get right back to it. Alright, whose house is this? The mayor's house, I presume? Actually, does it say the mayor's house? Oh yeah, it does. So I guess her name is literally Mayor. Well, alright. The mayor's name is Mayor. There's nothing to see in the mayor's house except for a cauldron? In the fireplace? Can I do anything with it? Can I sing to somehow ignite it? No? Not even when I do it softly? That does absolutely nothing? Okay, fine then. So there's just nothing useful in that house. I can't seem to go to, uh, the west up here. So in that case, we'll just keep going to where the ghosts are then. Doesn't seem like there's really anything else we can do in the town. Who are you? You're the most human-looking person I've come across so far. Bardlet! Oh, goodness. A dark spirit appeared in Ruby's house. I tried to get her out, but, well, you know how stubborn she can be. She's such a sweet, sweet old girl. If something happened to her, I... This is Francine. I thought about getting help, but... What if something happens while I'm gone? I'm so terrified. I can't move. 
I'm so embarrassed. Well, I mean, none of the characters I've encountered have been able to move on their own so far. This mailbox says absolutely nothing. All right, I have a feeling that this is like the ultimate boss of, of this area. I have a feeling, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just, oh, okay, you're invisible now. Okay, wait, can I, can I talk to you quickly? Ruby, do you need help? No, leave me be. <laughs> okay, that must be the dark spirit talking then. Okay, so the ghost itself is invisible, but I can still see the cue is for, uh, for the singing stuff. Okay, yeah, this is, this is actually pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, I'm not surprised that this is very simple right now, because this is just like the, the start of the game. Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter how, how fast I sing either. Can I still sing? Yeah, and it still erupts in a burst of colors. Erupt in a burst? Yeah, I don't think that's how English works. Like, sometimes I'm not always certain if that's how English works, but this time I'm like 99% certain. I still don't understand that language. I did not want to pause the damn game. Goodbye. Did you just sing that spirit away? Yep. Good thing it's out of your hair, huh? No! It wasn't bothering me. Do you just run singing into everyone's home? Well, thanks for coming into my home and making a racket. You can leave now. Are you leaving yet? I guess I am. Because Ruby didn't want to be saved. Fine then. Okay, it's the mayor. Talk around towns that you sang away all the ghosts. I mean, yeah, it's, that's pretty much what I've been doing for the past, like, 20 minutes or so. And here I thought bards weren't worth a thing. Well, at least at least someone's recognizing my, my hard work here. My effort. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I got a favor to ask ya. You got time to perform more miracles? <laughs> Maybe, ah, uh, heck yeah, yes, yup, yup. Or, wait, that's that's actually all of the possible choices. Okay. Heck yeah! Let's go and murder some more ghosts with my with my beautiful singing. Langtree's got a spirit protector called the Overseer. He could tell us what's what with the ghosts here. To visit him, you just gotta learn his song. Do you know the song? Well, yeah. Can you sing it to me? That wasn't what I had in mind. I ain't a great singer. Eh, you can do it. Let's give her some words of encouragement. Yeah, I really ain't so sure about that. Just do your best. All right. Get ready to sing along with me. Oh wait, I gotta sing with her? Okay, what is it? Oh god, is this- this is becoming like a rhythm game. Oh, Jesus. Well, well, the bard didn't certainly seem to like that. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. That's okay. But, is there anyone who could sing the song for me? Yeah, one other. Heck of a singer, too. Who? Ruby. The grumpy old lady? Yep. And she's the only other one who knows it. Darn tootin'. Ruby acts rough, but I swear she's got a kind old heart in there. Just ask nicely. Alright. Well, I, I guess we'll go and ask her. I'm not counting on this, though. She does seem to be kind of a grump. Hi, Ruby. I want to learn the song of the Overseer. Do you know anything about that? Oh boy. No! <laughs> and I've about had it! With you! Coming into my house! With your demands! Ruby! <coughs> oh god, my throat. Now that kind of attitude just ain't right. You really don't remember the Overseer song? No! Really? That song you sang all the time? You know. Back in the day, with Ron, and at the gatherings around the big old tree? The song that was your job to sing for that, every year? You really don't remember that one. Oh yes, that song. I may remember it. I like how Ruby has like her own style of font for her text bubbles. And also how it moves around in like a wavy motion too. Can you sing it? I'll only do it once. Okay, rhythm. Let's go. Rhythm game time. Oh yeah, this is a rhythm game. Oh my god. Okay, I have to actually hold it. Oh god, no. I actually wasn't counting on this because now I have to like concentrate and commentate at the same time. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh no. Okay, well actually, this is not too bad. Okay, are these like... Are these actually on- on the rhythm here? Are these like on beat? Okay, I guess they are. Wait, is that it? So that's how it goes. Thank you, Ruby. I knew you weren't really that huge a jerk. 
I sang the song for you. You can all get out now. Always a pleasure, Ruby. Kiddo, meet me in town. Do you have anything more to say out of curiosity? That girl could stand to learn some manners. And you too. I'm an old woman now. Coming in demanding me singing songs for you. Where's respect for your elders, hm? Okay, so I guess there's also rhythm game sections as well. Or sections where it, Wonder Song basically becomes a rhythm game. Okay, well I wasn't counting on that. But either way, cool. When I was a little girl, Ruby would sing at the Tree of Slumber. It was supposedly a ritual to commune with the Overseer, but he never did speak to us. I know Ruby can be a little harsh at times, but her heart is good. Just old and tested. Alright, so we have to go back into Tawin to see the mayor. They might as well go and follow her. Okay, another cutscene. Oh god, there's three ghosts. Alright, let's let's go for the triple kill then. Triple kill it. Okay, up, down, and I think diagonal left. Di diagonal down. Okay, they've all changed colors. Okay, never mind, I guess that was like some sort of bug there. I know, that looked like some sort of game glitch. Oh god, they're getting- wait, they're getting faster! What is going on? There. Is that it? Yeah? More hieroglyphics. Alright. Get out of my face, please. You are no match for my singing. My singing puts tortured souls to rest. Kiddo, you know the way of the tree to slumber? Uh, of slumber? Uh... Well, actually, is that the cave that I was in before? The one where that, that, like, mask person was just, like, sleeping or unconscious next to it? Okay, I, I'm gonna say yeah, because I think I know what she's talking about. Go there and sing the song. I'll stay here and make sure my folks are safe. What good I am without singing, I don't know, but... Okay, so now we seem to actually have a reason to go over there, I think. All this haunted business is exhausting, but I feel much safer with the mayor helping. I guess I'll get back to doing my medicine. It's stressful enough with all these ghosts haunting about. I feel like he said that already, but whatever. Let's just go here. I think we need to go up this way. Yeah, it was up this way, actually. I still don't know what the heck I can do with these birds. If these birds have any purpose whatsoever. Whatever. I don't give a crap about them right now. I do not give a rat's behind. Okay, so... Okay, well, first of all, that guy is not there anymore. Okay, sing... The song. Okay, yeah, so this this is actually, like, starting a sequence here. Alright, so then I just, I just sing it again. With the good timing. Okay, yeah, there's also, like, a little, uh, face that appears to show me how well my timing actually is. Okay, so I have to, like, move the cursor over it in order to sing it. And then I have to keep the cursor there to maintain the note, because I do have to hold the note. Well, alrighty then. There we go, we sang it. We sang the Overseer song. Oh god, what is happening? Where have I been transported to now? Okay, it's it's Aya again. Aya? I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Rainbow Heart! Maybe they talk in emojis. Maybe, maybe that's what the language is. Welcome to the spirit world. I remember you! What are you doing here? I delivered my message, so... Just drifting around your world? Vicariously feeling Aya's unconditional love for all existence. Okay, well, maybe she's not Aya, but stuff like that. So, you're real? Uh, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and the world is ending? You know, this this type of text does actually kind of remind me of Donut County's text bubbles. It reminds me a lot of how the characters talk in Donut County, actually. God, I really wish I could have done a video on that tonight instead, but... I'm still enjoying this either way. This is a wholesome little adventure here. So how do we stop it? Stop what? How do we stop the world from ending? Well, the one thing that could stop it would be if someone sang the Earth Song. That's it? I can do that. How does it go? Oh man, it's like... So not that easy. The Earth Song has no melody. It carries the combined will of all life on this planet. It's a whole thing. Well, how do I learn it? Talk to the Overseer here. Big castle. Can't miss it. Like a quest. Hehe. <laughs> yes. Good luck, little bard. Heart. Rainbow heart. Rainbow heart emoji. There's a cliff! I'm gonna jump off the cliff! Jumping off the cliff did absolutely nothing. <laughs> a aside from just caused me to respawn. So I guess there is kind of like a way to die in this game? Or some sort of way to fail, but it just respawns me at the nearest checkpoint. 
Alrighty then, I can't just jump off and end it all? Fine, that's disappointing. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep on going. I do see the castle over there. Oh god, wait, what is this? Is there leaves? Can I jump on the leaves? Wait, I can probably... I can give them color, right? Oh, I see. I can cause them to grow. Oh, I see, and I can make it move in different directions as well, depending on... Yeah, depending on the note at which I sing, so... I move it up by singing with orange, and then I can probably move it down, right? Okay, that doesn't really work, actually. <laughs> can't move it down, but I can move it, like, up and diagonal and to the left. Okay, it seems like I can only make it grow so far, though. I assume I need to go up here into this cave. Alright, let's go in here, then. Oh, and you got some nice, nice vine formations here. Okay, I gotta ride, I gotta ride the vines upwards. I don't know where I'm going, though. Okay, go to the, go to the left. Okay, I can probably jump to there. Okay, good. I definitely can. Oh god. Wait. Oh, that's... That, again, that's a neat little touch. He actually kind of like struck... What the hell did I just do? Okay, could I stop breaking the game for a minute? Yeah, so it seems like I can't crush the bard, but... That is kind of cool. Like, when you get him right up to the ceiling, he does kind of struggle with it. Again, nice little animation touches right here. You're, you're gonna be fine, bard. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Very good indeed. Alright. Just make it to the top of the castle. Oh god, the fog. Wait, the fog's yellow. I could probably do something with it. Oh yeah, I definitely can. I can sing and it clears the fog. Oh yeah, and it doesn't actually seem to matter what the color is. Okay, fine. We're gonna go up this way. Yes, indeed. We are gonna go up this way. Somehow I can still make it grow. Oh god, wait. I need to see here. Okay, another cave entrance. We're just gonna make it all the way to the top of the castle here. Okay, so we're gonna have to, like, make this thing move down. Okay, so this is actually going to be useful for once. I mean, like, like, moving it down, I mean. Okay, so let's see. We just need to go over this way. Oh my god, dude, this is, this is so freaking cool. I sing in order to make plants grow. If only we could solve all the world's problems by, in, in this manner. That would be great, wouldn't it? It'd be absolutely fantastic. Oh god. I don't know, the physics are a little bit wonky though, it seems. Alright, these birds again. What do you want? Why did- why did my cursor reset there for a moment? I don't know, I still got the bird though. Okay, I need the bird again, actually. Very good. Get that jump! Get that large jump. Alright, so I guess we're just making our way to the top of the castle. I assume we are in the castle right now, are we? Okay, no, we're not, because the castle is still in the background. Alright, gotta get the bird here. There we go. Thank you very much. Get me up here. Help me on up. Help me on up. Over and out. Okay, wait. I need to... I need... I really need to see where I am. Wait, what am I... What is this? Wait, what is this thing? What is this formation? Okay, there just seems to be a random ceiling out in the open. Not quite sure where that leads. Okay, wait. I do need the... I need to go back and get the bird again. Here. Come here. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, you can just fly through solid objects. Good. Good then. Okay. Let's go through here. Alright, now what do we do? Oh my god. Okay, this looks complicated, but I can probably deal with it. I can probably live with it. Go down. Yeah, this is this is actually a more interesting mechanic than just the singing. You can use it to like make plants grow. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, it doesn't it doesn't move anywhere else. Okay, now I guess we gotta bring this plant to us, and then we just ride it, I presume? Yeah, we, prob we probably write it to the end. Oh god, I really do not like how... Okay, well, I think I might have just screwed this up, or maybe I didn't. I really don't like how... Like, like if there is one little minor complaint that I have about this, I really don't like how the color wheel just disappears after a few seconds. Because it seems like when... Uh, oh, okay, hello. How are you doing? That's just going through the ground. But see, when you're holding a note, it causes the color wheel to disappear after a few seconds. I kind of wish it didn't do that, honestly, because it's really not helpful when I'm doing these, like, plant growing puzzles, because then I want to move the plant in a different direction, but then the color wheel suddenly disappears, so I have to get it to come back up again by moving the cursor, and then it kind of trips me up, because then my plant starts growing in the wrong direction. But either way, just a minor complaint. It's just nitpicking. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're getting really close to that castle. Okay, I didn't notice the bottomless pit there. All right. Come to me, plant. I- wait, I can't see the plant. Oh wait, I see it, I see it. I'm gonna ride it. 
Okay, I'm gonna assume I'm safe. Am I safe? Okay, yes, I am. I am. Alright. We're getting really close to this castle here. Maybe I'll just play up until I get to the castle, and then after that I'll probably end the video there. Because I have been playing this for a, a fair amount of time. I kind of feel like I haven't really made that much progress, though. But I still have been recording for a pretty long time, so you know what? I'm, I'm gonna end the video off either way. Oh, I see. I need to get to that, uh, that top entrance, right? I can still keep going over this way. Oh wait, maybe I don't, actually. Because there is a bird over here. Okay, but then what would be the point of- oh, wait. Wait a minute. I think I see. I now understand the purpose of this plant, actually. Because we're- wait, wait a second. We're gonna do something here. We're gonna do something. Bring this plant over here. I said bring it over here, please. I- I can't tell if it's actually moving back this way. Oh god, wait. Bird, come here. Okay, wait. This does give me an idea. I gotta bring the plant over this way. How far out does it grow? Like this? I think what I'm gonna need here is a little bit of proper timing. Oh god, I really wish that it wouldn't go off the screen like that. Wait, no, I actually don't need proper timing. I just need to go and catch the bird, and then I just need to ride the plant upwards. Or wait. Maybe I do need proper timing, because is that gonna extend downwards far enough in order to catch me? Okay, it does. It does. Okay, bring me over there then. And then I'm gonna have to get it to, to do it again. Yeah, because whenever I jump once, that causes me to lose the bird. Okay, that's good then. Let's just jump up here and get out. I mean, these puzzles are pretty straightforward. Not really the most the most challenging in the world. Where am I? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna run and sing. Just like in run and gun games. You know how in run and gun games you can move and shoot? Well, in this game you can move and sing. This is a run and sing game. <laughs> okay, I actually can't see the first note that it's singing here. I'm gonna assume it's this? The purple? Or is it- or is it the bottom one right here? Okay, no, it seems like it's the purple and then darker purple. Or maybe that's blue, actually. I have no idea, but whatever, I got the bird now. So where- where do I take this then? I don't think I can- oh yeah, I- I see, I have to go up this way. I've gotta go up to this top ledge over here. And then I think I just need to do like a, a leap of faith. Oh no, I can still jump while singing. Okay, well, that case, just keep the fog out of the way then. See, it's useful right here, because I can just keep the fog out of my way by just singing and running forwards. Alright, well anyway, here we are at the castle. To be honest, this kind of looks more like a church than a castle, but whatever. I want to go in it, because there's somebody I would like to meet in here. Oh my god, this- this- these lighting effects are so... so elegant, too. I love these lighting effects. I mean, it, to be honest, it kind of makes the bard look a little bit blurry, but still, these lighting effects, man. Love them. Alright, where- who- where is this- this guy that I- that I would like to speak to? My god, this- this castle's- wait, there's nothing in here. Oh wait, no, there is something in here. We gotta jump upwards, hello. You're like a tiny cat with butterfly wings. Okay, wait, do I have to communicate with it through singing? I I'm just assuming because its text bubble is colored. No, that apparently does nothing. Oh my gosh! Please tell me, you're the overseer! The overseer, meow, is not! I guess that's okay too. <laughs> well, is the overseer around? I came a really long way to see them. Brr. My master, the Dream King, is taking a nap, and he can't see you till he's awake. Why is the entire screen shaking? Oh, uh, okay. How long are his naps usually? Usually a few years. Oh god, the puns. What? I gotta wait a few years? Meow said, usually. This last nap has been going for centuries. I don't have sentries! Please, can you wake him up? I'm on a very important quest! Mmm. Meow understands, but Mr. Dream King does not like to be woken. You gotta be... Kitten me! Oh god. We're, we're going into this territory again. I can do it if you're too scared to. I can sing real loud! That's like, my thing. That is not going to work. Only the bell atop the castle could do it. Hmm. I should not have told you that! Do not ring the bell! I'm totally going to. Ah, uh, no! 
This ba- I, I swear to god, this is basically Donut County dialogue. What is this? Okay, can I sit on the throne? Oh my god. Well, I can stand on the throne. I can't really sit on it, or I guess more appropriately would be squat. I can't squat on the throne here. Yeah, why is- Oh, I think I know why the screen is shaking. Because the overseer is snoring. His snoring is so loud that it's causing the entire castle to shake. Oh, uh, I see. I can even hear it in the background, too. But where where do I go, though? Go up the stairs? God, this is kind of confusing because everything is in is in 2D. But the weird thing is that there's, there's like, multiple background layers. Like, you can jump in between them. It's really... Oh, uh, God, it gets really confusing. Again, basically Paper Mario. Don't do this! How are you going to stop me? Is this the first boss? Can, can we have, like, a proper boss, please? Ow! Hey! Stop that! Okay, well, he's- he's hitting me. Can I- Oh, okay. I can still sing, but he, like- he, like, stops me momentarily. Oh god. Oh god, please. Okay. I gotta go get to the Overseer. Oh my god. Get in the freaking room. He- he actually prevents me from going through doors as well whenever he attacks me. Okay. I'm gonna go wake up that Overseer. We're gonna go wake up the Overseer and then we'll be done with this video. Go up the stairs. What even are these physics? He is literally, like, like standing all crooked. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Just go. Just go. Just run. Is there a way that I can run faster, actually? No, it doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, that's also kind of weird, because it's like... When I'm running forward, and then I suddenly turn back, I, like, slide as if I'm on ice. I don't know what that's all about. Go up the stairs. God, this little... Butterfly cat is still attacking me. Haven't you had enough yet? Nope. I don't see what the big deal is. This is like his job, right? I'll learn the song and then he can go back to sleep. Mer. Meow can see there's no stopping you. But if you bring that determination with you, Mr. Dream King is sure to help you out. Meow beat. I don't know if that was a callback to Undertale or not. When he said determination. I don't know, I, I do feel like this game has a similar charm to Undertale for sure. Anyway, we're gonna go and ring this bell here. So is there a specific note that we have to hit or can we just ring the bell? Oh god, wait, what is happening? Oh, I see, we have to move the bell. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see, we have to move it back and forth. Move it back and forth. The sound waves causes it to, to move back and forth. That's- that's how powerful the bard singing is. I see. Oh god, why is this zooming out so much? I'm kind of, like, having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. Okay, there we are. There we are. Wake up the Overseer, please. Oh god, what is happening? I'm gonna assume that's the Overseer. Okay. Cyclone, Muin, Raindrop, Wind, Star... I still don't understand what that's it. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What? <laughs> what? Oh, now he's attacking me with them. Oh, wait, what? Am I learning the language of his people? Understand me now? I guess I have learned the language of his people. Yes. Fantastic. So, why... Am I awake? Uh... The world is ending! Oh. Yeah, and so, I, I adventured into the spirit world, and solved a bunch of puzzles, and fought with a cat butterfly, so I could come to meet you! I want you to teach me the Earth Song! Okay... I still don't know who that masked man is, by the way. Sorry about that. Being awake is not my thing. That's okay. Are you really gonna teach me the Earth Song? No. <laughs> the Earth Song channels the voice of all life on this planet. And if all that life isn't in perfect harmony, the song won't work. So, I'm kinda not seeing the point. Uh, so you won't help? Meh. But, what about all the people on Earth. Yeah? What about the rest of the universe? It's all going away. That's the natural order of things. You're asking me to bend the rules, 
just to save this tiny little piece? A bit selfish, don't you think? I'm not really feeling up to it anyway. Okay, back to sleep now? No, wait! There's... Ghost Haunting Langtree! Oh! That sounds... tough. Well... Good luck with that. <laughs> well, you're no help in the slightest! I can't believe that guy! Sorry, little bard. Should I really just give up? No! Well... I mean... You could... But... I believe in you, little bard. I kinda didn't before. <laughs> but now, seeing your determination... I do. I think you can actually sing the Earth Song. But how? If the Overseer won't help me, there's six more. And each one's got a piece. So maybe... Screw this guy, and let's find the others. Where? Shrug. <laughs> she says shrug. She doesn't shrug, she actually says the word shrug. One thing at a time, you know? First you gotta deal with those ghosties back home. Okay, I'm out. Exit tree to your left. Peace. Well, alrighty then. Can I go to the right just to see- oh wait, we're going back to the castle. Well, can I re-enter the castle just out of curiosity? Yeah, I can. Okay, I don't know if I would like to make the trek all the way back up there. I don't think I want to. I'm not willing to, so I'll just screw this place, screw everything about this. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. Oh, we exit through the tree? Well, that's no fun at all. I'm gonna jump off! No, that doesn't take me back down. Fine, then. Fine, don't let me have fun, game. See if I care. Okay, yeah, we, we exit through the tree. I don't see how that works, but... Okay, whatever. It's We're in fantasy land. Nothing's supposed to make sense anyway. I really don't know what happened to that mask guy who was here before. He was just lying on the ground. He's just gone now. I don't know if we'll ever see him again. I hope we do. So I'd like to know what exactly his motives are, but anyway, one problem at a time here, so I guess I'll just go back to the town for now? Because I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go next, honestly, but I guess for now I'll just go back to the town to see what's happening. Okay, Clyde's not here anymore. Did he go back in his house, I wonder? No, Clyde is not in his house. Okay, so where, where exactly did he go? Actually, where are all the townspeople? Are, there, are they even here at all? There's only like 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 four houses here. Oh, I see. They're they're all the way over here. Okay, I guess the ghosts are attacking again. What is happening? More ghosts? Just the same types of ghosts. Aya Almighty! These things just don't quit! You can do it, Miss Mayor. Thanks, Clyde. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take care of this. Hello. Aw oh, jeez, it's that kid again. Bleh. Hey wait! What? I can understand you now! What? That's swell! I guess it's the same language the Dream King spoke in. So then, kid. We could use a mighty fine favor from ya. We need ya to translate our ghost talk into music. I can do that. Hot dog! What in the Sam Hill's going on? Okay, listen close. I guess we're gonna help the ghost now, alright. I'm up to the task. Alright, well, they're telling me right here. Good people of Lang... Tree. Oh, why can't you see through? Uh, no, that says though I cannot freaking read. I am developing dyslexia. Though we appear ghostly, we're not enemies. We're Ron, John, and. Mary, your folks who've just passed. My god, I am tone deaf as all hell. But this world is ending, and so we've amassed. You won't get your fair chance to live your lives through, and that's why we've Come back to spend time with you. Beautiful song. 
Wild B. Pa, is that you? Indeed it is. Uh, he said yes. Well, I don't feel like a right fool. Of course the spirits were of our own kin. And why would they care to hurt us? Guess that solves our ghost problem. In light of these events, kiddo, I'm making you the new mayor of Langtree. What? You heard right. Today I couldn't do my job and you could. My folks deserve a capable person to keep him safe. Simple as that. Pardon me, Miss Mayor, but what are you talking about? You're an excellent leader. Remember the time Bronson's boy was lost in the woods? Aye, or the time Clyde got stuck in a tree? Hey, we're all proud to have you as our mayor. The Bartlett is nice, but also kind of a dope. Most of our problems can't actually be solved by singing. But what if they could? Hmm. After further consideration, I may have been a bit hasty about that mayor thing. That's okay. I think I'm going on an adventure anyway. Well, it will be right here, kiddo. Thanks for everything. And that's it? Well, alrighty then. Oh god, what is happening to my CPU right now? <laughs> okay, I, I freaked out there for a moment because my CPU suddenly spiked to 100% for some reason and I don't know what happened. Hey! Oh, Miriam. I saw that! You were talking in the spirit language. Did you meet with the Overseer? Yep. I knew it! Okay, listen up. You're coming with me. Hop on my broom. Whenever you're ready to go. Uh... Can you just wait a minute? Is Ruby still in here, I wonder? Yeah, Ruby's still in here. Another ghost? Wait, what do you say? So this spirit was Ron all along. I knew it. He's just as annoying as always. Oh, so this is the Ron that they were talking about. Please stop horsing around in my house. Enough! Are you just here to annoy me? Don't you have something better to do? Okay, fine then. I'll leave. I'll leave then, you, you rude old lady. Yeah, they were talking about a character called Ron who passed away, and apparently Ron is one of those ghosts. Well, alright. I don't know how I feel about that, but, uh... You know what? Just hop on your broom. Huh? I don't have time to talk. You wanna chat? Do that with someone else. When you're ready to go, just jump on. Oh wait, I have to actually jump on it. Okay, I thought I had to talk to her again. Hold on to your butt! Alright, well I guess we're going on a journey to the heavens. Let's go. I guess that's the end of the first act. That is the end of the first act. Alright, act two then. The performance at the Crazy Raven. Oh wait. Act one had a star symbol and this one has like... Like a wind symbol I presume? Oh okay, so I think these symbols are more important than I think they are. Because it seems like those exact same symbols are appearing every time I start a new act. Oh, uh, okay. So they must have some, like, greater significance, then, to the story. This is it! What's this place? What do you think? It's me and my grandma's house. Come inside. Okay, well, I'll go in, then. Hello. Rather dark in here. Well, hello! So you talk to an overseer, hmm? That's so delightful. We've been trying to commune with them since we divined this world's fate. Uh, more like I've been trying to. You just sit at home and tell me what to do. I'm an old lady, Miriam. Old schmold. But I can see from your eyes, he didn't help you, did he? Nope. But the others might if I meet them. Oh. I thought you'd be more useful than that. Hmm. Well, I like this one. So full of hope, unlike my granddaughter. Psh. I think you two ought to travel together. Uh, excuse me? This clown? We don't even know your name. Well, why don't you tell us your name, then? Wait, I can actually input my name here? Okay, well, there's no R, so I can't put in my my usual name of Robotnik, so... I only have, like, a like a certain amount of letters. I only have, like, eight letters to work with here, so what, what, do, what do I do? B... Oh, now you give me an R. Okay, let's just put Bard. My name is Bard. <laughs> sure. B-A-R... D. Bard. Yes. I am a bard, and my name is Bard. Yes, that is indeed my name. Yup, my name is Bard. <laughs> what a wonderful name! It's a pleasure to meet you. Is that good enough for you, Miriam? Why couldn't I have just, like, like, typed in the name? I think that would have been a lot better, honestly. Ugh. Whatever. Welcome to the team, Bard. 
She doesn't seem very happy. Safi, huh? Don't mind my granddaughter. She's a fuddy-duddy, but her heart is good. She's been grumpy ever since she was a little girl, but she's my grumpy little girl. I only wish she could- I only wish she could learn to loosen up a little. Our family is so very funny. Half of us come out jolly, half the complete opposite. Many I can't even speak to, like my sister. But Miriam, I'd always be there for. I can't seem to jump in this cauldron. Can I go to the top floor right here? Yeah, I can. Can't bounce on these beds, unfortunately. Can I pick up this broom? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I can just fall through the floor. Good old Super Smash Brothers style. Alright, what, what's Miriam doing outside anyway? Okay, wait, I didn't want to go back inside. Wait, can I can I talk to you, please? Sigh. Okay, let's get going down this hill. Can't I fly with you? No, you're heavy. And anyways, we're going through a cave up ahead. There's an overseer access point in there for the Queen of Winds. And before you ask why we haven't checked this one out yet, it's because there's monsters in this cave. M monsters? Don't you freak out about it. Well, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We can just use our beautiful music to to sing the monsters away. Oh, that's interesting. Actu actually, wait a minute. I just I just noticed something here. Ooh, yeah. L some of the the some of the leaves are actually floating upwards when I sing. Yeah, I can actually like move the leaves around with my singing. Like if I get close to them, I can actually make them float upwards. I can make them move downwards. And they change color. Like, I can change the direction in which they move. So that is a really nice touch, though. It seems like there's a lot of, like, small objects in this game that you don't think you'd be able to interact with that you absolutely can. And I also had no idea I could destroy that bush over there. Yeah, look at that. They're all changing color. And they maintain the color, too. So you just kind of, like, sing and they, they fly all over the place. That's really cool. My singing kind of acts like wind almost, which I guess is appropriate because apparently the next overseer is the Queen of Winds. But we're not gonna meet up with her for now. We are going to end the video here, guys, because I've been recording for a long time. We've already beaten the first act, so I think that's a good stopping point anyway. So you got to see the first act of Wander Song. I like this game. Very, very wholesome experience. I still don't know what the hell this squatting position is, but it's it's a thing you can do, and I don't understand why it's a thing you can do. Oh yeah, I can still I can still sing even when I'm crouching. Okay, I don't know what this would be useful for though. I haven't found a use for crouching yet. Maybe there will be a use maybe in this act, perhaps? Oh yeah, and actually, I discovered this little thing off screen, and I forgot to mention this. If you hold down the alt key, you can do a jig. Yeah. The bard right here can just do a jig, and apparently you can still move when you're doing this. Can I still sing as well? Oh yeah, I can. So then you can like combine it with, with this, and oh my god. This game is wonderful. This game is absolutely wonderful. I really like this a lot. I especially like this aesthetic, because like I said, it reminds me a lot of Paper Mario, but it looks a little... Well, actually, I don't know if I would say it looks more detailed. Because it, it looks a lot more like like a picture book, I would say. I don't know, I, I wouldn't say that this is like as detailed as Paper Mario, but it does still have like a very similar aesthetic to that, and I guess I guess I could also compare this to Yoshi's Story, because even Yoshi's Story has a similar aesthetic that's kind of in the same vein as this. I really do like it, it's not an aesthetic that you see very often outside of Paper Mario, and I especially like this singing mechanic right here, because it seems like there's a lot of objects you can interact with, by simply singing, that you think you wouldn't be able to interact with, but you absolutely can. Like, like these little maple leaves here, for instance. Like, when you sing near them, not only do they change color, but they also... You, you can also, like, fling them in various directions as well, depending on which note you're holding. I mean, the color wheel itself is something that I have seen before, because, like I said, th this color wheel reminds me a lot of the color wheel from Hue. It has pretty much the same functionality, except in Hue you cannot sing, but the manner in which the color wheel is used in this game is very unique indeed. Also, if there is one thing that I have learned from this game is that uh, I am completely tone deaf. I guess those music classes that I was required to take in grade 10, yeah, ac actually required to graduate didn't actually pay off. The game doesn't seem to be all that challenging though, and I mean, I'm not expecting it to be that difficult considering this is only the second act, but I don't know, this game seems to be pretty simple for the most part, and it seems like the game doesn't punish you that much when you screw up. I mean, there are bottomless pits that you can fall down, as we saw in the first act, but it seems like 
when you do fall down those pits, you just get reset back to a previous checkpoint. Like, you respawn instantly. I at least like that about this game. It has instant respawn mechanics. So, I mean, there is, like, some method of failure here, it seems. But, at the moment, it doesn't seem like it is possible to get a game over at all. But, I mean, we still have several more acts to go, so I could be wrong about that. And I would rather not judge the game on that merit this early. I'd actually like to wait and see, because maybe the game does get a lot more complex later on. On. But as it stands right now, I'm kind of worried that this game might actually be a bit too easy. Actually, that's kind of the complaint I had about Donut County as well, that I wish I could have talked about today, but no. OBS has to be a prick like it always is, and refuse to capture the game all of a sudden. But anyway, I don't feel like complaining anymore about that. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here. That's Wander Song. I still can't get over this freaking crouching animation, dude. It just looks so weird. It really does look like he's taking a poop. I don't know, it, it, it just makes makes me uncomfortable. I really don't like how it looks. I don't like how he's, like, grabbing his knee is. But from what I've seen so far, guys, I am really enjoying this game, and I'll try to see it through maybe all the way to the end. Seems like it will be a while before I actually get there, though, but... I'll play the game more off-screen whenever I have the time to. I forgot to mention that this game has also been receiving a lot of really great user reviews on Steam as well. It doesn't have that many of them, I think only a couple hundred last time I checked, but... So far, the user score for this game on Steam is 98%. 98! I haven't covered a game with that high of a user score on Steam since West of Loathing, I think. So the people who have played this game seem to be madly in love with it. I don't know if I would personally give it such high praise just yet, because I haven't played the game that much. I only played through the first act. I mean, it's looking promising right now, but I really do hope that it starts introducing more complex mechanics later on, because where it stands right now, I feel like the game is a bit too easy, because it seems like all you have to do right now to defeat enemies is just copy the musical patterns that they lay out to you, and when you screw up those patterns, it doesn't seem to punish you at all. I really hope the game's difficulty ramps up at some point, but I'm gonna continue playing it. I'm not turning this into a full playthrough, though. This will be a one-time thing. And with that said, I think I'm just going to end the video now, so that's Wander Song. If you're a fan of Paper Mario, like if you're into this sort of aesthetic, and also if you really like wholesome experiences in your video games, then be sure to give Wander Song a try. It's available on PC and Nintendo Switch. It costs $20, I believe, so it's one of the more pricey indie games. But considering how much work clearly went into it, and also the apparent wealth of content that this game contains, it could very well be worth it, but still, I need to play the game more. Maybe this is like one of those slow burner games. It starts off very slow, but then it ramps up over time, and then it starts getting really good. Maybe that's what Wander Song eventually becomes? I don't know for sure, but what I've seen so far, it is absolutely lovely, and I am definitely going to play it some more off screen. So that's all I really have to say about it. Again, I don't have a proper way to end this video off. I mean, admittedly, this was a spur of the moment kind of thing because I wanted to record another game today. OBS would no longer capture that game properly, so I had to switch my plans at the last second. It was already getting late at night, but I really wanted to record something and try to get something out. So I finally decided to do a video on this, and I do apologize if my commentary might have been a bit rocky in this video. Like I said, this was kind of an impromptu thing, but... I'm still happy that I played it either way. The next video I do, though, will be one of my more proper videos, I guess you could say. You know, on it'll be on the more informative side. It's not gonna be Donut County, though, because it doesn't seem like I can even do a video on that now. But it'll be something. It's actually a game that came out fairly recently that also doesn't seem to be receiving a lot of attention. But I personally have been waiting for it for quite some time, so I'll do a video on that at some point. I don't want to say what it is right now, so you guys will just have to wait for that. It's a mystery for the time being, but anyway. Links in the description if you want to purchase Wander Song on PC or Nintendo Switch. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!